Hello everybody, welcome back to Hermitcraft! Now I've been taking a bit of stock of my situation and the zone. I've been doing a lot of housekeeping, you may see that in my tools. Um, and it's come to my attention that once again I have season 5 myself and put myself at the, the butt crack of nowhere um, compared to everyone else. I mean, I say that, like, like about 400 metres behind me um, is, is, the, is, is the mesa that no one wants to touch. And, and about uh, 800 blocks in that direction are a, a, a pair of half houses that should be one. And I, I, feel, I feel very sad that they are not one. Anyway, <laughs> okay, let, let's, I, I have spent a couple of days uh, before I've even started recording. But I understand that Joe has has struck and I don't know why I'm doing it like that and has given me the emeralds which I so very much desire. Thanks Joe. I do appreciate your generosity. And it was generosity. Um, I don't know how the treasure map went but um, it went. Now if you look this way you'll see that there are there. there's a lot more open space. I've been trying to take down that entire birch tree forest. I've got about halfway, which which I thought was very good. Um, Die Central, I think I showed that last time. Ah, okay, let's go into starter base, which is basically Cleo digs in for some reason. Right, I, so I made a farm, okay, and I made another farm. I haven't made a second farm, but I have made an enchanting table. I managed to get Silk Touch, and I say managed, I grinded it, 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 until I got it, a Fortune 3 and a Looting 2 sword. Um, I also have, not in that chest, but in that chest, a stack and a half of diamonds, lots of lapis, some leather, and I think I showed my cow farm last time. Right. Um, I want to do some enchanting of books because I want to kind of be self-sufficient and, you know, a grown-up this, this this season and not have to rely on everyone else's rubbish. And that brings me down sort of here. Now, through this, through this wall. Through this wall is my worst nightmare. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. You can see it, can't you? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that back. Uh, yeah. Um, there's a cave spider spawner. I need a reliable source of XP. Can you guess what Cleo is planning to do right now? Right now, with you guys watching. <sighs> I don't, I don't like it. I do not like it. And I've left my, I've, I've left all my gubbins down in the mine. I'm gonna do it. I am going to do it. You'll notice I've got several buckets of milk and I've just thrown some random enchants on, on, on my iron armour because I am not doing this with anything but, like, you know, the, the worst stuff. Now, I believe if I go across from around here, I've got... Yeah, this is going to go so well, Cleo. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, you just, just naff off, because I cannot be doing with this rubbish. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's, it's down there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yep. Go on, then. Ow. Right. Yep, no, no, no. I've, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. It's right next to my cow farm as well. Give me give me a milk. Give me a milk. This is good. This is good. I'm not terrified. I'm not. I'm not. Anyone who says I am is a liar. A lying liar who lies. Do 
just light up everything. Okay. It's is there another one back there? Please don't tell me I've got two. I, I, I could do without that. Hi. Right. See? See how how awesome I am at this. This is something that could not possibly go wrong. Let's there's a creeper down there. Well Oh, I've actually just woken you up, haven't I? Doesn't particularly bother me because Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing to worry about here. Although I can hear more cave spiders. Um, I'm guessing that's because there are probably cave spiders underneath. Because there might not be enough light. Okay, that went better than I expected. I only, I only got poisoned a little bit. And you know what? If you're not getting poisoned a little bit, then are you really living? I guess after light up everything, step two is... Get the cobwebs and make sure you've got a light source right next to the spawner. Okay, I'm, I'm cobwebs. Cobwebs are good because you know they make good wooshy things in armor stands. Oh, and now up here, just just so things don't spawn where I don't want them to. Which, for reference, is everywhere. I don't want them to spawn anywhere right now because terror is is is. Basically everything right now. Terror is everything. I am one with the terror. It shall flow through me. Oh, I hate cave spiders with a vengeance. I think I spy diamonds down there in that ravine. Huh, interesting. When I've got diamond armour and I, f I feel confident that it's properly enchanted, I shall go and get them. Okay. Plan A, secure the hive, has been completed. I, I, I was worried there were more spider spawners, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I feel like I have done... Well, this is not... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I hate early game. Actually, I don't. I, I find this quite interesting because... You know what? I've never made a cave spawner, a cave spider spawner before. And in fact, I was so freaked out by caves, I enclosed my entire, my entire area. So, the question is, how does this work? I have mostly forgotten. Now, I believe that spiders cannot get through this gap, but I could definitely swing my sword at this area here. Um, <laughs> making it out of dark oak wood for some reason. I don't have a huge amount of it. I've got loads of birch, but, you know, needs must as the devil drives. I've also made this area unspawnable. They shouldn't be able to get out of that either. <laughs> the only way you can find that out, Cleo, is to test it. This is this is this is from my learnings, which aren't particularly great learnings, but they are learnings nonetheless. The death chamber is sort of finished. I've really just got to take off all the torches and uh, run like hell. I think is is the answer there. I've got. Like two buckets of milk. I'm going to start by taking this off. Because this is the one that's going to be the... The problem. Enough here. Here we go. There we go. Oh, heck. Alright, you go away. Right, actually go away. Drink and are you is, is more gonna spawn? Is more gonna spawn and come over here? Yes! And can I <gasps> I did it! I did it! This 
is the thing what I hath wrought. And then I can get, grab all the stuff I need. I did it. I did it. I did it. I mean, not the best way that I know how, but the only way that I know how is, is the answer there. Uh, game? Okay. Would you like to see one of the most awful monstrosity of a spawner room you've ever seen? Ta-da! It's bland and ugly and monotonous, but you know what? It does the job. I've also turned off the sounds of not only these spiders, but also the cows mooing, because dear God. And I've, I've put in like a hopper so that I can get some kind of drops and... Um, I mean, I'm not in it for the drops, or even though this is a looting sword. should probably not be wasting my sword on this. Come on. Oh. I see how it is. Yep, yeah, okay, you come down. Why, Miss Cleo, this is slightly different to what you've had in the past. Um, yes! I've actually flattened out this area because I want to make a version of the Berlin Gates of the, Be sorry, the Berlin Gates, the zoo, um, the Berlin Gates Zoo. That's, that's the plan. And they have like elephants at the front of the gate. They, their elephants are standing and um, starting to think I might do better with a standing elephant. I've been go going for sitting elephant. Doesn't seem to be working out for me very, very well. Um, so uh, the, the idea is I'm going to be, um, improving this look with armor stands. That's the plan at the very least. So I'm going to make a standing elephant and then do the armor stand thing. Okay. I like that. It's only half an elephant right now and the trunk is going to probably get some smaller blocks at the end. Um, just so I can, I can have like a, like a, a, a running trunk thing. But, you know, just, just for references sake, if I was to do something like that f for the trunk, that's sort of what it looks like. This block marks the center of the pillar. So before I do any arm stand work, I've got to figure out the size of the pillar that I need. And I think it's probably just going to be a three by three, um, of some description. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, he's lying down. Look at him. And he's going to have tusks. And yeah, I'm gonna need to, maybe actually that could stay. And then I just put the stone in there and down there. Or maybe I take that out entirely and then just stone there. Nope, this block's gonna have to come out as well. That actually looks pretty decent. I mean, there's there's obviously some armor stand work that needs to happen. But yeah, and I need to replicate it on the other side because, you know, I have to. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to finish working on this part of the build and then and then see where I go. I actually really like that as an elephant. Not going to lie, I think that's pretty neat. Feels very much like I skew it. It's like a carnival ride. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm actually surprised with myself at how nicely I think I've done this. So yeah, that's going to be the pillar where that comes up and makes the massive gate. It needs to desperately be bigger than that because that is not going to fly. Um, what I might do is take it so it's all, all the way on the elephant's back, but put it into a... Hey, false. Um, put it into a different material. It's got to be a decent material. I'm going to make the, the the top like red and. Mm, I was hoping for prismarine to do the front top of the gate. Oh well, we'll we'll work something out. Oh look at that! I sort of like that. Although I wish I had, I was able to get fences in like better colours. Oh well, walls. This is andesite wall, by the way. Um, hmm. I mean, I know, like, there's all different kinds of walls now, and I just don't know what they are. If I get 
a few stacks of polished andesite. Can I get a po I can't get a polished andesite wall. That's a shame. There we go. Oh, actually quite pleased about that. I mean, the elephant isn't finished yet, obviously. I need to arm stand tweak that. But like just the pillar with the gold and the blue, and uh, it, it feels very natural. The original pillar was sort of a, a sandy, sort of sandstony colour, I guess. Could have done it out of that smooth sandstone, but didn't want to. Didn't want to and didn't have to. So no, 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 no. That, that's how we roll. At least that's how we roll in here. All right. So I've made the lion as well, which I kind of like as a, as, as a thing. And I've also made like the elephant. I'm very, very aware. I also made these little plinths for them. Oh, I like the word plinth. Plinth is a good word. I also am aware that they sort of merge into the background when they look like this. And I'm thinking, uh, I need to go and get some sand and sandstone and actually make these puppies pop a little bit. So uh, I need to go and find the mining mesa. Not the mining mesa. Oh, God, it might be a mining mesa. Definitely a desert. Definitely sand and, and pain and, and, and deserty stuff. Okay, so I'm going on a journey. I've got my inventory relatively clear and uh, I'm taking my bed with me so I can sleep. Now our mining mesa is about 3,000 blocks away so I bought lots of food. I'm, ooh, depending on where it is, I might need to get my boat. Hermitcraft communications being what they are, no one told me there was a portal so I just ran like, 3,000 odd blocks. So this is the first time I've taken a portal. Uh, let's hope it's not booby trapped. Yeah, like demise problems. Okay. I am assuming we're fine. Okay, that's all good. That means I can, you know, actually get back at least somewhere where I know there to be a thing. Okay, so I would like to get... Not much sand, but like way more sandstone. So, oh, let's start here. As I mean to go on, apparently. All right, a bit of mining later. I need the red terracotta and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this terracotta, but I've got sort of a plan. And by a plan, I mean, I'm gonna hope it works because, you know, that things don't always go the way you want to in Minecraft. However, you can always try. Okay, so the portals didn't get me all the way home. But I am seeing other people's bases on the server. So, you know, it's all positive. Excellent. Oh, there's the Mushroom Island. Okay, I'm feeling safer now because I can always just head around the coast until I get home. Okay, I much prefer it in sandstone. However, this has got to go. This has got to turn into like... <sighs> stone brick or something. I think that's what it's got to be. Okay. I can work on that. Oh yeah. That is a much better uh, contrast of colours there. Okay, yeah. I'm totally doing it that Although. Alter no, no, no. We're, we're doing it the, the sensible way. Oh, yeah. That's much more how I imagined it. Okay, yeah. We're turning everything into stands to standstone. To standstone. This, this is what I've become, guys. I cannot word. I mean, it was at this point where I was going to, you know, add details using armor stands, but... I'm not entirely sure they need them, to be honest. So, yeah, it's time for the roof of the little bridge thing. Now, I have spoken with Impulse. And Impulse um, is going to try and obtain me some blocks. Some very specialist blocks that I don't want to spoil. So, fingers crossed, that works. 
All right, so that's the very first layer, not the scaffolding, obviously, but the uh, the archway. Um, it's going to be have a nice little flick at the end. Um, if any of you wondering what was on my uh, Twitter profile, this this is the thing, and yeah, it's gonna be huge. Okay, so that's where the roof stands at the moment that's not the end of the roof because i would like uh, another layer of this oak paneling stuff that we've got here um the roof is all across um there is another layer to go on top that sort of flicks out at the ends and then inside now i don't know so, you see i have a slight problem with this now, I don't know if I want to make that, like, jet black. If I want to make that black concrete, so I've got, like, the wood, the red, and the black, and the the, the green that I'm going to have. I could make it out of coal blocks, but... Right, so, in the middle... Hang on, let's go underneath. Right, there's going to be another la layer of wood, and there are going to be two sort of inlay layers on either side so when you get back you get you can see like the the higher up wood layers and then the dark layers so i could make it i say i could make it out of concrete that's a lot of squid farming that i've got to do now isn't it yep and i've just realized that that one is longer than that one which it should not be it's fortunate i've got a lot of red terracotta isn't it so I think I've got literally just enough coal to see this through. So I'm going to try getting it done. At least this part, I think I can definitely do. And of course, I've got to wait for the other roofing material to come through. But, you know, patience is a virtue. And there we go. That is my... Oh my goodness, that is, it. it's only slightly incomplete, it just needs another layer to go over the top, but it's done. I mean, this is an episode two thing that's taken me, oh, I love it, I love it. I love the elephant, I love the lion, I love the swoopy arches. Uh, again, Berlin Zoo Elephant Gate, look it up. Um, it's not perfect, they're not both elephants, I've got a lion and an elephant, but it's... I like it. I like it. And I like the sweep. I love the shape of it. The shape is cool. You can't deny me that one. I love the shape. Okay. So I just need the the green layer on top and then it's perfect. But I can't get that this episode. So I am happy to call this just an episode. I'm standing on cubes in case you wanted because it looks a little bit different from the underside. It looks a bit thicker. Oh, and this has taken all but 11 blocks of my coal. So, you know. But on that note, I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Hermitcraft. Class dismissed. <laughs>